Hi Virgo, you are the first ones that are the highest. 137 um, likes on your zodiac sign. So I've been saying the one that has the highest will be the first. That's why you are the first uh, today or this week with the reading. And I will be putting them out much quicker because I'm also busy with the uh, book with Tarot with the Chakra and I am really busy getting into this. So this will be included in the readings once I get my finger um, on all the information. Okay, so um, I will be making a video on that book once I'm deeper into the book and so that if you want to do chakras and cards as well then you can uh, get more information. I hope you, um, most of you, if not all of you, will join in the competition. Nobody is a loser there because it's making a visionary board, uh, or vision board, and that means that you can use the vision board even after the competition has finished at the end of August. And I will be going live on the around the 30th of June to discuss uh, any issues or questions or problems if you are making a vision board even if it isn't for the competition. I'm doing my nine card spread again uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and the querent card or the overall energy. It's up to you how you would like to take it. And I'm using the Enchanted Dream Tarot um, as the clarifying and you know that I will be doing taking these three cards for this card, these three cards for that card, these three cards for that card, and these three cards for this card in the corner. And then an angel feather and a crystal um, card. And the crystal you can wear on, on you or with you or next to you, uh, next time to your bed, bed stand, so you will get the effects of the healing and the energies of the crystal. So this reading is from the 15th to the 21st of June. Well, we're going into Cancer and then it will be the Cancer energy. So now we're in Gemini energy, so let's get started. This is the last week, as I said, of Gemini. Okay. Uh, the first card, we have the Two of Pentacles. Ooh, are you coming out of something? Are you getting back into balance or are you out of balance? Perhaps you're trying to keep your balance. Perhaps you're balancing your heart and your mind, your heart and your soul, or your financial or work and the home front. Perhaps you are still working from the home front, as in some countries it is still so that people are working from home. So perhaps you're trying to balance the home life because I know what it means being at home and working from home, especially if you've got young children. Um, they, you have to ha have certain times that you can only work, like when the little ones are asleep or when they are at playing outside or when they have a, a kiddies television on and then you can't do your work because you you have to keep an eye on them. And perhaps it is because uh, your partner is at home and also working from home and uh, you have to share the room. Okay, well, I wish you all my best wishes and a lot of success and strength. Just um, don't worry. You'll get there in the end. You'll get the balance. So let's have a look at Monday. Monday, you have the magician. Like I said, you will manage and you will have a new beginning. Perhaps you might find an other space somewhere in the house, like the bedroom, and you'll be working from your bedroom. But make sure that you 
um, do create a proper background if you do video calls because it might be a bit strange sitting on your bed and then having a sort of bedroom atmosphere. I do watch YouTube and I do watch people doing things from their bedroom because they have to share a house with the family, perhaps with parents and others like brothers and sisters, and that's the only space they have to be private. But sometimes the, you can see private things. So be aware if you're doing business or uh, commas or um, business meetings or presentations, make sure that you get a white wall or a grey wall with no pictures of children or animals behind you. You can uh, sort it out. You have all the gifts around you. You've got the pentacles, you've got the wands, you've got the swords and the cups. So you can, the cups is nurturing and caring, so you can take care that it looks business-like and official. And wear the right clothes, of course. That also makes a lasting impression. You are active. You can do it from a little space, even if it's underneath the staircase. <laughs> like Mrs. Brown. <laughs> uh, I don't know whether you know Mrs. Brown, but she's, she has a comedy series and they've got the toilet underneath the staircase. It's quite funny how these cards bring out <laughs> comedian things in me. And you've got the thoughts, you've got the wisdom and you might have the money. OK, you can balance money. Magic. Magic, magic, magic. You you can do it. You can make this new beginning be yours. OK, it's number one, new beginnings. But you have to do something about it. You have to come into action to make it work. It could be with partnerships. It could be partnerships in business or in love. Foremost, love, because you've got the two of cups. Emotionally, you are balanced by the... Oh, sorry, it's not... This is Monday. I'm so used to doing the lines. Sorry. Um, on Wednesday, you've got the lovers. Well, it's the same thing as the two of cups, and that's Friday. Oh, you are meeting your soulmate. It might be a Gemini Virgo. Look at that. And you are in balance by Wednesday. You've got the six amazing and then you've got the two so you are in balance friday as well the two of cups so that is partnerships you might meet your soulmate or your equal in business or in love so this you can take this as a partnership week in work or in love at the weekend you have the page of cups so the page of cups is Pisces, so you might get news from a Pisces, and it might be a person that's younger than you, usually a teenager, but it could be somebody that is younger than you, that you are partnering up with in business. Or it could be your toy boy or your toy girl. <laughs> yeah, sorry, my sense of humour is really coming out today. Mm, better to laugh than to cry. So you will be receiving news about something that you care or that you're passionate about or that you love or that you can nurture. You might even um, uh, might get news that you're pregnant if that is what you wish. OK, a project uh, doesn't have to be a child. Uh, it could be an idea that's coming into fruition because you've been banging heads together to get something started. Whoa, nice one. You might have got that contract. Yes, great stuff. You've got the King of Wands, and he's the man of action. This is a very, very beautiful um, philosophical deck, because um, it is not just a feminine or a feministic deck, not at all. This just highlights and makes us more aware of our feminine side and the masculine side. Because the man isn't aware, it, boom, it go, throws straight into your face. They are there. Um, the masculine side is there. 
even if we are a woman and the man also has the feminine side and that's why he is included he is the king so your masculine side might be stronger than your feminine side because the masculine side is the business side the steadfastness he in the old days he was the breadwinner and he was the head of the family so perhaps you might have to be the head of the family and perhaps that is what you're balancing your finances the business your working side because you might be a lonely parent whether it is a woman being a woman or a man so he is a man of action he knows what he wants he takes action that's why I said you have to come into action if you want this new beginning okay but you could be also meeting up in your love life or business life with the king of wands and that is an Aries okay they are important we can't do without the feminine or the masculine we can't do without night or day yes and no we have to have that equal and that's what you might be balancing your feminine and your masculine side or you might be meeting an Aries but don't exclude Leo or Sagittarius now how does that figure with the other cards okay so we've got the magician the magician it can be a Gemini and we do have the Gemini's here as well and the magician can also be Aries so you've got the two prominent ones the Aries here and the Gemini there okay and the magician is also known to be a Gemini because they are always doing a dozen things at the same time and there's no stopping them they stand for wisdom they stand for uh, also for action and sometimes without thinking it through but on the other hand they are air and wisdom so they do take everything into consideration from different sides also different perspective different uh, ways they're very creative like the king of wands the wands are similar to the air signs i find they're swift but they think differently they know the letter of the law and they're sharp they they go straight into the core sometimes without thinking they do it much quicker than the uh, fire signs but the fire signs are more strategic they think about it and they're slower because they have to logically think and strategize put a strategy onto their ideas which is good okay if you do take your time then it you know you know the saying if you do something in haste you have to repent in leisure so you know uh, and I think the Gemini's are hasty but if something goes wrong because they can do so many things um, at once and they always find a loophole definitely in the law now here you are you're trying to bet like I said you might be balancing your ideas and your strategies I'm sorry if my English is not very good but sometimes I struggle about over words and the page of cups to the king of wands so um, the page of wands is Pisces so um, you might be fire rising or fire moon or you might be rising uh, uh, water uh, or moon water this could be in your chart now you would have to consult an, a real astrologist to see what the aspect is in your sign but you could be meeting a Pisces like I said or an Aries and the like the page of cups he's there stand for nurturing love and passion so there is a lot of love and passion this week and I think you might be taking um, the site of nurturing and caring more because the earth signs are steady and slow or 
and they want to be secure. So I think you will take more care before you act, all right? Because you are an investor. You take it slow, but certainty. You want something with durability and long term. Like the water signs, the, the uh, pentacles is more like the water signs. Wow. So you are going the right way about it to get your balance. So don't worry. Now we're going on to this corner and this corner is the king of pentacles now i was talking about to you about earth signs being steady and slow and they want durability in things for long term well the king does and that's why he is the king because he finds out he is like the king of fire he is strategical he uh, is logical. He is also very logical, but he will take his time even longer because everything he touches turns to gold. His investments give you rediment, but you are going to take action. You might even ask, this is you, you might even ask a pentacle or uh, a fire sign for advice if it's with regard guarding investments and you will be taking action this could the king of pentacles is taurus so that you could be asking an other taurus if you're an earth sign an other earth sign taurus but don't forget virgo or capricorn so you have a sound week in strategic and stra strategically handling things and uh, getting the magic going so that's action action boom you're going to invest in something perhaps in love or in a project or in on the share market and it will bring you in money but you have to be careful balance it balance it don't put all your eggs in one basket so invest in one or two projects okay number two you're going up from a new beginning two and one two you're going to get the balance whoa this is great stuff now we've got the lovers here so balance balance is important again six you will come into balance you can make it happen okay because you've got the magician you've got the intelligence you've got the means and the how and the no there you go now we're going to this beautiful card and like i said there's something new beginning perhaps a project perhaps a partnership here you are you've got the empress and that means fertility fertile ground she's got the um sorry come on she's got the heart on her big tummy which is carrying a baby because she's also known as mother earth and she nurtures everything could be a pisces lady that you're meeting and she might you might hear of of it that she is pregnant it could be your partner okay Whew. the empress is also a libra she represents libra wow so you've got the gemini and the libra here and she stands for fertility birth of a project or a child growth because she nurtures it because she represents mother's earth as well like the queen of pentacles okay and then there will be blossoming and then you can harvest so you will see your return your investment will bring you return it's lying in the same row usually i when I do an extensive reading, I do the lines like this as well. But this is just a general reading. Would you like a 
an extended reading privately, then look for the information below the video or click on the white circle in the right hand corner. Okay, so you are seeing return in something, something new and it will bring you uh, abundance. Okay, and you might be getting to hear the news about abundance and that you have uh, your investment has already grown and is bearing fruit. That uh, it could be in a work relationship or you could have found your balance in a loving relationship because you have been together and you're, you've met your soulmate. You, one of you might be pregnant. Your partner might be pregnant if you're a man and if you're a lady. Yes, I suppose your partner can be pregnant as well. Uh, I'm sorry, I sometimes forget <laughs> and that we have mixed marriages. Okay, from all kinds, different cultures, different creeds. And I, so that doesn't matter so long you're loyal and faithful to each other and that you really love each other. That's what is more important for me. Love, honesty, respect and loyalty. And that seems to be the case here. Wow. Okay. Why? Because we've got a beautiful, nurturing, loving uh, person here that is the page. They might be younger than you. And we've got the magician. Magic is in the air. Now we're going to this card. And again, we have water. We have cancer. The chariot represents cancer. Again, a water sign. So it could be a Pisces or a cancer that is bringing you news. But don't forget this card also Scorpio. You have public recognition. You've got victory. You've got recognition. You're the winner. Okay, you might be moving home. You might be actually now moving in with each other. You're partnering up. Or you might be moving home because there's a baby um, coming soon. And you might be seven months pregnant or three months pregnant or between three and seven because this is number three and this is number seven. So you, want, you are getting... Uh, what you call it in English? You want to build your nest. You are already feeling that. And you might have found the house and perhaps that is your victory. Perhaps you um, are going on holiday, the last holiday before you are a family of three in real life. Okay, because the seven, with seven months, you're still allowed to travel. After seven months, in most countries, you're not allowed to travel after seven months. So perhaps you might be taking a few days off. Well, nice one. But you're moving onwards and upwards. You could be um, getting a promotion. Or you might be, like I said, you might be moving in with each other or getting married. This is like Pegasus, but he's black. And he's got orange flames. So it's like the phoenix rising from the ashes. Whoopee! Great stuff. Now for the angel feather card, we have burgundy. And that means celebrations. Wine. I see wine. Invite a miracle. Invite a miracle. You've got the burgundy. The angels love receiving invitations to be part of your life. Ask and you shall receive. If you've asked, can I be pregnant? I want a baby. Then the news is, yes, it is here. Now, you have a beautiful, beautiful card. And number seven, you have the aquamarine and luck is on your side. Number seven, you can see a face in there. And you can say that is either the spirit of the crystal or the angel of the crystal. I like that better. 
the essential meaning of the aquamarine is enhanced clarity, calm, discernment, awareness and acceptance of one's truth. Your wish, that could be your wish, and there could be clarity coming to you because of the news. And definitely with the magic in the air, something will come out. And you've got Gemini, so, and you've got Gemini twice, and you've got Aries twice, so something is coming true. Now, let's have a look. Now, I'm going to give you the relationship message, and I'm going to give you the prosperity message, because you've got the uh, King of Pentacles, okay? And I'll just give you a general uh, clarification as well. More than ever, it's easy to get lost in a flood of information while remaining focused and on task may be difficult when you sense senses are overstimulated. Aquamarine spirit has appeared to tell you that you really do have what it takes to sort it all out and become clear to you. Make decisions. Your powers of discernment are now magnified and you are poised to make healthy choices for yourself. The good of all. Go. Crystals can be found when looking carefully at the big rock formation or layer of earth if you call on the help of the conscious universe and work with energy of aquamarine you can see the sparkles and calls from your attention and you can quickly understand it too take a deep breath and be patient as you pay, uh, practice discernment and observe details you might have overlooked before first one at a first one at a time and then in unison. unison. Know that your ability to recognize the importance of small details is supported by the conscious universe. You are on the brink of attaining some powerful insights and aquamarine spirit has come to show you the way. Now the message for the relationship Slow down and look carefully, for there are details that need your time. This is the message of Aquamarine Spirit, which can help you to become uh, crystal clear, both in communicating your needs and in understanding those of others. Old patterns may cause you to overlook new information, material that could give you important insights into your relationship and assist you in making the right choice. Go for yourself. Trust what you notice. If you're feeling a sense of deja vu when it comes to your relationship, it is the conscious universe calling you to learn the lesson of aquamarine by discerning and observant and you will surely make decisions that are for the highest good for all. Wow. So, that is how you keep the balance. Learn from the past and don't look just in front of you, but look around you. I love it. Now, for the prosperity, because we've got the King of Pentacles in here, your ability to note details benefits you right now and aquamarine spirit will help you make calm clear decisions like the king of pentacles with the confidence of having the conscious universe allied with you to co-create wealth and abundance you can take your time being methodical methodical in is called for now like the king of pentacles research before you invest 
Those details you already checked. It's a good time to go over them again. You are poised to gain insights that will benefit you as you work to heal old patterns generated by your ego sphere. Patterns that no longer serve you. Break free from exercising the discernment right now. For the conscious universe has much wisdom to share with you. From Gemini or Libra. You can be confident that everything you need will be right there for you. Okay. So know that if you need advice, then seek it from the ones or the pentacles, the earth or fire sign person. Okay. Or the Gemini or Libra. Because the King of Pentacles, everything he touches turns to gold. The King of Wands didn't become a king because he's got this status, because he's logical. He's also thorough, but he goes into action to what he wants. And that is what you have to do. Okay? Know the letter of the law. Do it the right way. Don't do it the sneaky way, because it won't work. Okay? Okay, so do it the right way, take time, and you can make this partnership grow and blossom. And it most probably will be an extension in the family. You might be moving, you might want to get a bigger home. Perhaps that was your wish or your dream. It will be you can do it, but ask for advice. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so take action. Go and do your research and then go and fulfill your dream or your wish of both of you. I wish you lots of success, lots of happiness and stay safe. Love you all. And I hope to see you in the live sessions. And thank you, thank you very much for liking and sharing the video. And wow, I'm overwhelmed on your reactions. Um, that I know that um, you are enjoying my videos and I'm glad. Thank you. And I hope to see the likes and shares again. And perhaps you might be number one again next week. So take care, God bless and see you in the life. Bye, my darlings.